Hello guys, my name is Razvan and in this tutorial we will gonna see how to change a hard disk in a laptop. You know, in these days there are more and more models and types of laptops, but in some in, in some types of laptops we can have access to the hard and RAM memory very easily. You just have to open the back cover and we have access to that. But in some other cases, like I'm gonna show you in this model I'm gonna use, it's not that easy to access those components. So the model I'm gonna use for this tutorial is a HP Pavilion 15 notebook. So before you start, you just have to turn it off and take off the battery. Yeah. Uh, once you turn it off and you took off the battery, you start to unscrew every screw on the back. Yeah? In this model, as you can see, we don't have access, just to RAM. we can access the RAM through, through, through here, but the hard disk, we need to unscrew every screw and take off the front part and then we're gonna have access. So first of all, we're gonna, we're gonna unscrew every screw on the back. Uh, make sure you don't miss any because when you once you um, um, do this you will have to take off the front part and you if you don't take off all the screws you can break it. don't force it yeah make sure with uh, with the dvd writer unit there is a screw just right in the middle this screw will let you take out this dvd writer yeah so make sure take off this screw once you have this screw out you can just pull out the DVD writer okay so make sure you take off all the screws very important yeah because um, as you're gonna see next uh, we need to have all the screws out out um, so here are the RAMs yeah the memory RAM so as you can see in this model you can access the RAM memory so you can change or update the memory RAM very easy but the hard disk the access to hard to the hard disk is uh, through the other side so you see we have another two screws inside of here so you have to open the RAM cover also and make sure there is any there is not any other screw over there now um, I will check to make sure there is no other screw but you know in some models um, they have screw under the legs yeah, under the feet of the laptop so um, as you can see I'm gonna take this off and put it back just to make sure there is no other screw over there because some models they have screw under the feet of the laptop so another screw we can find where the DVD writer was placed so as you can see here I have um, another three screws different screws which they are very tiny so I'm gonna need another screwdriver which is more tiny um, and I'm gonna take off those screws also now let's start uh, and take off the keyboard because under the keyboard there is um, another that we have another screws to take off and um, also some connection um, in this specific keyboard I have start from the bottom but normally you should start from the top um, uh, side you know with the plastic tools just unclip the top side in this specific keyboard I have done it from the bottom but I should go with the top one as I'm doing now uh, because the bottom side it has a longer clips which goes under the front cover so now you have to be careful don't lift up the the keyboard because there is a ribbon cable under so just gentle be careful with this cable so now you have to lift up the, the clamp on the connection of the, this cable so just lift up this clamp and pull out the cable so that's the keyboard once you have the keyboard disconnected now you have access to the another screws which we have to take out and uh, we will see we got also some other connections so just take off the screws you got under this keyboard now let's disconnect the small 
cables we have under the keyboard so as you can see we have small clamp just lift it up and just pull out the cable that's one and we have another one just this one so it, it's the process is the same just lift up the clamp and pull out the cable now let's try to take off the front cover so we're gonna use same as before plastic tools and just use the force here yeah, to to unclip uh, those parts so it's, it's it's very easy by using those tools just go around and um, just take off the, the up side from the bottom side now once you unclip those two sides just easily lift up the, the top side so now we have access to the hard drive so let's first disconnect this uh, ribble cable uh, in the right side we have this small board for the USB cables and um, audio jack just unscrew this small screw and uh, just take off this small board and then um, we also want to disconnect this river cable from the connection so just lift up the clamp on the connector and uh, pull out the cable as well as we have done with all other cables okay now I'm gonna lift up the, the hard disk from his place using this plastic tool so just lift up from one side and then pull the hard disk outside okay now we have the connector here yeah? so the connector SATA connector data and uh, power connector with the SATA connection so uh, it's a very easy step just pull this connector out and the hard disk is released now once we have the release we just have to take off um, like the frame there is a small frame where where is keeping the hard disk in the place without moving so just take off the screws on the sides take out the bad hard disk and put a new one or the replaced one and put the screws back and now the process should be very easy to put it back just connect it as it was before don't forget to put the screws on the side yeah because this is helping the hard drive um, not moving so uh, make sure you connect it back it's a is no um, so this connection you can't be wrong with this connection it's just one way to be connected okay so now pre press the um, just push the hard hard disk back and now we should um, just start putting all back together yeah connected um, the usb and jack connector yeah, to this um, clamp connection yeah that the band cable make sure you put it back um, correctly you don't want to put it wrong and then you 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 find it is not working then okay now put this i'm gonna put this back and screw it and i'm gonna speed up the video from now because this is just put all back all we have took out we just have to put it back as it was once this is done now you can start installing the windows or do whatever you like i haven't mentioned in the video but these are the tools i have used the plastic tools which helps you not scratching the surface of the laptop and the other tool is the anti-static energy bracelet it's a very good idea to use these bracelets this is because it's very important to don't break the circuit board and um, 
all the electronics inside of the laptop. This is because our body produces static energy which can damage the circuits of the laptop. So this is all for this video. I'm gonna leave a link in the description if you want to find this type of tools. If not, you can go on eBay or Amazon or you can find them in any place. And I recommend you to use this type of tools to help you protect the laptop. Thank you for watching this video and see you in the next one.